these supports as mid lane. They call down the equalizer on the favor. The burst is there. Who cares about the shockwave? Another kill on to SKT's mid laner. Scout gonna be taken low, but not down just yet. The Tully comes out. Peanut is forced back as Hootie has to run away as well. Into the back line goes clear off. We commented on how Cloud9 tried this and failed. EDG is doing it with spectacular results, but now they've got to be worried about their own top here. laner as the reinforcements arrive. Faker keeping himself alive with that shockwave. Mouth's going to be taken very low, but Hooney is rooted up, locked down, and pushes a one-way ticket back to the spawn platform. Hooney just got denied again. He's so close to being able to feast. Some, of course, the OG from Banks. Scout is getting caught out. Scout in some trouble here. Might have a difficult time getting himself away. Has to try to escape the Cataclysm. Some fancy feet to get out of that one. Make sure he dashes over the wall. Now, Peanut, the one in trouble. Can't quite flash over. Nearly getting himself killed. Equalizer comes down and takes him out. Mouth grabbing the kill. And they're just trying to make engage where they don't have the damage. It's not a warrior watch out, but it's much switchier. And there could be more. Scout's not afraid. They try to go back in. Clear love looking to grab the LT, but a die boy who's got the damage. Faker drops again, and Clear Love takes him down. They keep finding team fights, and they keep taking out SKT's 8-0 in kills. But it's even more than that, Deficio. They're being gifted team fights. They're being seen. SKT think they've got the chance, thinks they've got the moment to slow down the game. That moment is still not there for SKT. Yeah, that was the most classic scout face check we see so often, where he suddenly gets surprised. But because he's so far ahead, he was actually able to just tank it up. And now the Baron is being started with the Artist Center on the Jana, with the full team attack speed. That's the objective. Never unseen on SK Telecom. EDG still looking to break this base open, not bothering with a 1-4 split. They've got five men strong. They drop down the equalizer. They drop Baker's health. They're about to take him down as soon as that dungeon fades away. Eyeboy grabs the kill. Mako taken incredibly low. The poison's still ticking, but it's not going to do enough. And inhibitor number one falls 24 minutes in. And these two cover picks coming in from EDG in the last rotation have been so valuable for them with Luz and Dre. They already got the first Baron. That was huge for them to actually get a bigger goal lead. They're saving the Drake round. They got two already. Bang is hiding. He's coming. Bang looking to come in. Here comes your initiation. The race. Oh, oh my god. Baker Shockwave will find them all. And SKT with a hell of a response will take down four. They did it. They fought back from a 9,000 gold deficit and won a team fight against all expectations. Rumble could not get the perfect equalizer because in half a second, flexing those muscles, shooting whenever he has a chance, to now having to play back behind that. I mean, that comp can't deal with the 4 1. Trogath and Rumble. Trogath laughs in the face of Rumble. At this point in the game, he's going to take a free out of charge. The biggest factor. Love wants to make a play on the floor. Your love goes in. Look to find the flash into the knockout, but now it's going to be Scout who's in some danger. There comes your better right goal. Him off the righteous glory pops. Booty's gonna get himself away, but the Joe is slow, and Scout's looking to run him down. He's still chasing. Hoonie's just trying to buy time here. He wants people to respawn. Hoonie's gonna die very soon. Hoonie will go down the flash from Mako to get him. You mentioned just a few moments ago to Fischio about the status of the Mountain Drakes and how those are not the most useful, but they will provide Elder Dragon stacks. Scout's gonna be caught out. They get both the AD carry. Scout jumping himself away, but Wolf is down. EDG's found one. Clear love gonna be going into ulti mode to keep himself oh, safe. Bang. But bang goes bang, bang, bang! Rat attack, tag, finds himself too. Now they're looking to finish off the red. Going. Scout drops. Iboy stands alone. Man, Iboy, if you had more of a front line, you can see on the last of the turrets, shy of the inhibitor turrets. It goes down, their first gold lead in a while. Inconsequential, like we mentioned, though. Not in any way getting the maximum value out of these buffs, it should be noted. Elder will be falling soon to stain themselves up and uh, well at least we can rejoice because uh, when we don't see the base being broken we're gonna get at least one more 5v5. Any 
single fight, any single pick could be this game, gentlemen. Red inhibitor respawning mid lane. As Bang opens up on the top lane inhibitor of EDG. Scout, clear love. These guys that did so much in the first part of the game now find themselves in the back foot yet again. All 10 summoner spells up on the side of EDG. Not the same story being told for SKT, but they've still got the majority of them. It's like you said, Deficio, it all comes down to who plays it better. Gold doesn't mean anything. Everything before this point is just moot. It's equal ground. It's who's going to win. And Clear Love wants to go in. He's going to be silenced, forced back a little bit now. Peanut soaking some damage of his own. Wolf jumping to his aid. The inhibitor turret continuing to tank damage. The knockup coming out again onto Clear Love. Mouse not finding the opportunity to lay down the oh, damage. Scout. As Scout goes over the wall, finds a couple more shots into Huni. SKT now retreating after grabbing the turret. If Huni hadn't fallen low, they would want to stay here longer. Massive group minion wave pushing in bot lane. They prepped many, many moons ago. Huni will, with the war marks though, be able to out of combat get that health up bang of course does not want to ult to try to take down the inhibitor it's still going to be a bit of a seesaw but look at that minion wave and bot scout getting himself away from the rupture the minion wave bottom is going to be an issue here soon edg holding on for now but who will they send to deal with that minion wave if anyone at all inhibitor taken very low bang still invisible now shows himself that means edg knows exactly where everyone is but it doesn't look like they're going to be going for the fight just yet calling comes out but to no real effect Baker going forward, wanting to find that shockwave. Instead, gets the ult for ult trade. SKT will start to move towards mid lane. That will relieve pressure. Humble will be able to clear out the minions in bot side. But they do lose their inhibitor. It was unfortunately a seesaw where there was only losing options for EDG outside of a miracle outplay on one side or the other. Again, we get one of those most screens. Oh, maybe not. Oh, clear love. Could be in some real danger. Has to flash away from the cataclysm of Peanut. SKT now looking to run these guys down. Can't quite do it. Clear love's got the tunnel. And that one was very big for SKT because the main engage of EDG is Equalizer and then clear love flashing in, knocking up someone in SKT's back line. That is now gone. And just to be clear, that basically means they don't have initiation. That is yes. about as situational as can be. The moment you're laying down the equalizer to slow people, you are losing massive value out of it. The early game plan where they were forcing SKT on their turn, initiation didn't matter. Now, where the game has become line ball, those few tiny mistakes they made, that one team fight in mid lane, and the team comp really doesn't have the answer. And that's what we said in Champion Select, that EDG had some fatal mistakes on day one, and every one of those windows that you even leave cracked open, SKT is gonna kick wide open. But let's be clear, AHQ had gaping open windows. The gust <laughs> was coming in, it was a big breeze, everyone <laughs> felt it, I put on the jumper. The windows here <laughs> were much smaller, and yet SKT did SKT things. Exactly that. Oh, Mooney gonna take about half his HP and damage there. Gold difference over time. You've got a lovely blue mountain range that suddenly dips into a lake of blood, and that blood has been SKT's lead, has been EDG's lead, excuse me, SKT's revenge as they break down inhibitor turret number two. SKT are feeling so confident moving forward, hitting the turret, knowing Clilov can't get onto them very easily. iBoys had some good moves where he actually caught out Bang with his own blade call up, and he needs to play very aggressive in the fight and exposing himself to a shockwave or maybe to Bang's damage with that ulti from the Twitch. Scout getting himself away from Faker. Culling comes down. Equalizer also going to be used. Redemption now to continue the fight, but it's Clear Love who drops first. SKT continue the charge. Clear Love taken down means there is no front line for EDG. SKT continues the push. The Feather Storm comes out but won't be finding anything. And SKT will look to end the game here. Scout barely getting himself away. Now gonna be jumping around. Now gonna be brought down. Baker grabs the kill on the mouth. Bang with the killing spree on the Scout. Watch I boy. And no matter how bad things look. SKT still looks to finish here. iBoy alive. You've got to be mindful of the Zaya. Mako there to give him the Ardent Sensor. Look to keep him alive. iBoy knocked up. Now gonna be juggled. Now taken down. SKT. Legends for a reason. Find their win. SKT are the best team to ever play League of Legends with that man.
this time. <laughs>